hello guys welcome back in this video we are going to learn about hair collisions we are going also to explore the move simulation control section and simulation recording with the animation catch operator this is the simulation we did in the previous video we are going to start from there if you want to follow the tutorial you will find a link to this scene in the description of this video let's get started in the move simulation control sections, we can find buttons to capture the initial state of the simulation. This will make the captured state the first frame of the simulation. And of course, we can remove the captured state. Simulate rest state button start an internal simulation detached from the Maya's interface. The resulting state is then set as the initial frame of the simulation. Let's see how Capture Initial State works. First, run the simulation and stop on the frame you want to use as initial frame of the simulation. Then click Capture Initial State to store this state. If you go back to the first frame of the simulation, you will see this is now the new state. And if you play the simulation, it will start from there. The Remove Initial State button will delete the store state. And finally, simulate rest state function. To better illustrate this function, I will use a sphere with the default hair preset because the rest state of our curly hair style is the same as the initial state due to the settings that we used for the simulation. In other words, you will not be able to see the difference when using this option with this particular scene. The rest state is when I run the simulation until the hair stops moving. This function will simulate this state behind the scenes and store it as the initial state. I hope that makes sense. As you can see now the rest state have been simulated and is set as the initial state. Of course you can remove the rest state if you want to reset the simulation. Coming back to our curly hair style, we are going to take a look to the collision meshes section and collision settings. In this section is where you can add external collision meshes to interact with the hair simulation. In this case, I have a sphere that I want to interact with the hair. As you can see, the hair is going through the sphere and if we run the simulation now, there are no collisions because the sphere is not connected to the simulation yet. To connect a mesh to the simulation, click the Add Collision Meshes button and select the mesh on the viewport. The sphere is now part of the simulation but the hair is not colliding with the sphere. This is because we have to turn on the collisions. Expand the simulation parameters section and find the collisions parameters. Here we have Collide with Base Mesh which will activate the collisions with the distribution mesh or the mesh that we use to grow the hair. We don't need this option for this demo. Next, we have collide with mesh. This option will activate the collisions with external meshes. This is the option we need. We also have collide with hairs, but this is something for another video. Now it's working great. See how the hairs are nicely colliding with the sphere. You can also play with the collision tolerance to change the collision distance. In this case it's not too important and the default value works fine, but when using open meshes it's good to set this value to 1 or higher. Higher values will help you to avoid hair penetration and other artifacts in the hair collisions with the mesh. Now that our simulation and collisions are ready, we can finally record the simulation to an alembic file using the animation catch operator. Add the animation catch operator on top of move physics. In the file name field, you can open an alembic file with hair animation or use the save icon to save a new file. In this case, we want to save the recorded simulation. 
click the save icon and choose a location and name for your file. Make sure you are at frame zero and click the record animation button. The animation is now being recorded to the file. I'm speeding up the video but the process took 25 seconds to finish. The resulting file is automatically loaded into the animation catch operator and is ready to be used. At this point you can now deactivate or delete the move physics operator since we can now play back the animation from the Alembic file. Now you can continue working on the groom, adding more operators on top of animation catch operator while the animation is playing and the hair will update in real time. That's all for this video. In the next video of this series, we will learn about force fields. Leave your questions in the comment section or join our Facebook groups to be up to date with our development news. See you guys later.